how's it going folks? So uh, it was a pretty rugged night last night um, when I had the fire going. Sadly left the door of the cabin open so um, lots of mosquitoes. Got up at a sparrow's fart so it's quarter past six in the morning. And I've got a long hike out, um, just over 22 k's to get back to the car park. Look I'm just going to have my breakfast. I mean honestly how amazing is this? How amazing to have stayed in um, Roger's hut. Um, and then I'm going to head out. This will be my last hut for 2020. Been a crazy, crazy year. Doorsman Dave. Hmm. It's easy. the car park it's a mountain bike track so it should be pretty quick hopefully 22 k's and the next hut is 9 k's or three hours away there's a reason there's so much bird song going on in here and that's because of the wonderful work that trappers do so this one has been successful and in this case it looks like we've got a rather large rat rats stoats Weasels, deer, pigs, they're all harmful to the environment. And here we have a stoat. As a result of that, that you can hear that. I keep putting my clothes on every time I turn up at a hut, just in case. It's about guaranteed the time that you don't, there'll be somebody there. This is where most people would stay on night four. Car park. Three, six, nine. Nine bunker. Not very much the same. So this is watercress, doesn't have to go actually in still water, it's growing on this damp moss and um, look it really tastes like uh, radishes. We've got two edible plants here that I can see, you've got these bigger ones, they are lovely. Mm. <laughs> really really nice. And then you got the smaller, like watercress type ones. These kind of got like five little leaves on them. Mm. And you can get a real meal off a wall like this. Very nutritional. Look, if you're ever looking for a wonderful little campsite before you get to the first hut, this would be a great location. Breakfast table, barbecue tables, this one's fairly new. This one's been here for a long time. It's Mount Morangi there. So Mount Morangi is at 1051, um, but we're a little bit lower than that. Here's another edible plant. 
I call it bush asparagus. So it's off the end of a super jack. So just like asparagus, if you can bend it. Mm. Really, really good. You wouldn't, you wouldn't eat that, but you would eat this because it's nice and flexible. Mmm, so much to eat in the bush. Four and a half k's to go. What happens when a rata, which is a vine, takes over a host which in this case looks to be maybe a totara and eventually just strangles it, takes it over. Folks, right back where it all started. Oh, that's fantastic. Day four today, I've just come through here to Morangi Hut and right through to the start. Effectively what I've done is the Tepuatana circuit, five days, four nights, 78.7k, so I've done around about 80k. But I did that in four days. It takes an awful lot of effort um, and considerable personal expense but I just love to put these videos together for you. So the only way that I get my payment is if you appreciate them as well. So if you could please show me that by clicking the like. I know it might seem a simple thing and please if you haven't already please subscribe and um, look if you've got any constructive comments then please write them below. Isn't it horrible when you think that you might come back to your car and it's been broken into? But um, that's uh, why I don't upgrade this vehicle. Um, nobody wants this old crapper. Anyway, thank you once again so much for watching. Please click like, please click like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next adventure real soon.